How's it going everybody? Man Cave Dave in Wisconsin here with a video game pickups video. It's been a while since I've posted anything. It's been kind of a busy few weeks. Uh, as you can see, the Man Cave looks decidedly different than my last video. Most of the records are off the wall. still have a few of the bigger ones up there. Uh, the Nintendo games are all packed up. Uh, Man Cave is looking pretty sad. Luckily I still have the uh, one of the recliners and uh, the mini fridge and um, the entertainment center, so I'm still hanging out down here when I can, watching movies, playing games, cleaning games, uh, but it definitely looks a lot different. The old um, record player is gone, but uh, we're working on selling our house right now, which is a very interesting process, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, this is some stuff I picked up over the last couple of weeks. Uh, just yesterday I picked this up. It's a really nice looking Super Nintendo. Uh, no yellowing on the console controller, maybe just a little hint of yellow with Super Mario All-Stars and Super Mario World uh, Power Pack um, RF cable. Paid 40 bucks for it, which isn't a super deal, but usually just the Super Nintendo controller and stuff around here will sell for 50 So I was happy to pick that up. Next thing, I've got a stack of PS2 games. There's also a console, um, two controllers, power cord, um, memory card... All that good stuff. The console, I've never really sold PS2s before, but I know that there's a big market for them, and this was one of the original fat consoles. So I paid 60 bucks for that, plus the stack of games. Um, I had another PS2, just the console, that I picked up for 10 bucks at a rummage sale, and one that I picked up for a dollar. So just for the heck of it, I put all three bundled together and put them on eBay, and they sold for $145. I couldn't believe it, so... Definitely be keeping my eye open for uh, PS2s here in the future. But anyway, um, as far as the games go, I thought 60 bucks was a pretty good deal. He said the console actually didn't work, um, but uh, you know the games. The person was a pretty heavy smoker, so even just standing here, I can smell the smoke coming off them. Uh, and some of the games actually have, or the cases have more than one game in the case. But um, this is Call of Duty 2, big red one. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. There's another Grand Theft Auto in here, I believe. Well. I'll have to take my word for it. Frogger 2 for PS1. Dukes of Hazard, Turn the General Lee. This is one of my favorite shows as a kid. And um, this game goes for like 25 30 bucks. so I was happy to pick that up. A rough copy of Corvette Evolution GT. Spyro, A Hero's Tale. Legend of Spyro, New Beginning. Thrillville. It's NBA Streets, Volume 3. Juiced. Medal of Honor Frontline. Bully. It's kind of a cool cover. Spyro Enter the Dragonfly, a lot of sports games, Fight Night Round 2, Crash to Insanity, Need for Speed Underground 2, Mortal Kombat, Shaolin Monks, NCAA Football 10, Brothers in Arms, Earned in Blood, Hitman, Blood Money, Dead to Rights, NCAA, NCAA 07 Football, 06 Football, Professional Drag Racing, Mortal Kombat Armageddon, and Twisted Metal Black. So, not too bad. Um, the next thing that we have got here is um, some stuff I picked up at one of my favorite game stores. So, for the Game Boy Advance SP, I was uh, kind of surprised there wasn't a place to hook in your earbuds into them, or earphones. And so this is kind of neat. It plugs into the, the port in the um, SP. And then let you plug in any kind of earphones you want into it. So that'll come in handy. And it was six bucks, so whatever. Uh, Mega Man Maverick Hunter X, or Mega Man X Maverick Hunter. I was happy to add that to the collection. A couple of NES games, which I had, a little bit rougher condition, but they were just a couple of bucks each, and they're pretty popular. So when I add a bundle, make sure these work, clean them up a bit, and I can add them to a bundle to uh, sell or trade. For GameCube, Final Fantasy, Crystal Chronicles, Star Wars, Rebel Strike, Rogue Squadron 3. really enjoy these games um, for the N64 and GameCube, so I was happy to find this. Halo Wars, I'm a big fan of the Halo games. This is the limited edition metal case. <laughs> a movie, The Delt Force with Chuck Norris. Unfortunately, after the fact, I did a total noob mistake, and this is the full screen version, not the widescreen. I always check that, and for some reason I just didn't. And, oh wow. Uh, Dinotopia, the Sunstone Odyssey. Simpsons Hit and Run, this is a pretty popular game. Goes for 15 to 20 bucks, I think I paid 7 for it. And WWE 
Crush Hour. This was 99 cents. And Blood Rain, um, which I think this was 199. A couple VHS movies, Ice Pirates, just sounded interesting. And Dirty Harry. And I've always heard the go ahead make my day line. I've never seen this movie, so figured it was time. Uh, this was on clearance at, I think, Costco? No, not Costco, Shopco. For $17.99, Kirby's Mass Attack, so it's sealed. So I figured I'd go ahead and grab that. And then these are some more I got at the game store. We got Kirby Canvas Curse, Capcom Classics Mini Mix in the box. box is a little crushed, but it's still in the box. It's complete. has Strider, Bionic Commando, Mighty Final Fight. I think that's it. So Bionic Commando I love playing, and Strider was a fun game, even if the controls were really terrible. Not sure what that beeping is. Hmm. Uh, Midway's greatest arcade hits with Defender, Defender, Sinistar, Robotron. Was that 2004? 2084? I don't know. Joust. So happy to add that. Ragnarok DS, Dragon Quest IX, Sentinels of the Starry Skies, and Animal Crossing Wild World. So um, all of those games, both stacks and the thing, I think I paid 130 bucks for altogether. Maybe 140 So a um, little bit more than I generally like to spend on games, but I definitely got a lot and a lot that I didn't have for the collection. This last little bit here was something that on Craigslist, it uh, seemed really good, and so I made an offer. And when I actually saw this stuff, I try not to make an offer unless I see the stuff and can actually ask questions, but it was kind of one of those hard to get a hold of the person, had to make a snap decision, and I went for it. And I don't think I'm going to lose money on it. Um, definitely some stuff I didn't have, but not quite as good as I thought. So person had a posting of you know X amount of GameCube and PS2 games. Um, here's what the price they want. So I got a hold of them and made an offer a little bit less than what they were asking. Uh, for the entire bundle, and they said yes, and I said, you know, but do these have the, the manuals and the cases, and they're like, all do except for the Game Shark and this other thing, um, and some of them don't have the manuals. I'm like, well, okay, let's go for it. So I paid 60 bucks for it. Here's what we got. Animal Crossing for GameCube. It's a player's choice version. This is probably the, the best one, Zoids Battle Legends. Um, unfortunately, the case isn't super great. This is like a $30 game. Um has the manual. The game itself will probably need to be resurfaced, which is unfortunate, but we'll see if it plays. Uh, Digimon World 4. Here's where I was really bummed. We got Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life, and I was like, huh, Pokemon Coliseum as well. How does that work? Was this a double? And I was like, wait, it doesn't go all the way to the edge. The only four is cut off, and on that side. So somebody took both of these games and took the manual and cut the manual to fit them both into one case. And so, it's like, oh man. So I got both games. Oh, this doesn't even have the Pokemon. It's the Game Boy Player game. Well, that's alright, because these are always missing the uh, Game Boy Player disc. So at least I got one of those. But, uh, so that was kind of a bummer. And then the same thing with this one, Metroid Prime. I was like, whoa, Metroid Prime and Metroid Prime Echoes bonus disc. That's awesome. But unfortunately, it's the same thing where someone had just cut the manual, and when you open it up, it's just the uh, Metroid Prime game. But it does have the manual, so that's nice. PlayStation 2, we got World Championship, World Thoroughbred Championships. Uh, we got Yu-Gi-Oh! The Duelists of the Roses, Final Fantasy X2 Greatest Hits, and then Draken, and Game Shark 2, which Game Shark 2, that's um, worth 15 to 20, so... I mean, I definitely didn't overpay for retail, but I didn't get quite as good of a deal as I was hoping. So, anyway, all in all, um, pretty good stuff to add to the collection, even though right now most of the collection is packed up. But we'll add it when we get unpacked. So, from here in Wisconsin, this is Man Cave Dave. I hope you all are doing well. And uh, it's rummage sales season starting off. I've seen a few signs, so hopefully we'll have a few more of these videos for you all soon. Until then, I'll see you all at the next sale. Take care.